So I'll go back to this Bible verse all the time, and I'm going to share this with you guys right now. I got my old man glasses because obviously I can't read. And I'm going to share that with you guys because you know what? This is kind of what I kind of dig into. This is kind of what I reach to when I have issues in life, when I have crazy situations in life. This is where I go a lot of times, right? Almost all the time I go here, and I kind of think about this a lot because it's very very powerful. So if you have any issues in life, if you're going through any struggles, if you're going to anything, let me tell you something. First of all, we are all there. 2022 has been a hard year for me. I haven't felt as close as I always, you know, as I being in the past with the Lord, right? And again, it has just been a hard year for me. Some people go through, you know, issues in life, and some years are better than other ones. But I know that the reason why I haven't felt as close to the Lord like I used to in the past is not because of him. His love for me is amazing. You know, it's because of me, right? It's because of me. It's because he is waiting for me to knock that door so he could open that door. He says, seek me and you will find me. You know, knock and I will open the door. So, you know, who puts things in the way of you and the Lord is you allowing the devil to separate you from him because his love will never be separated from you. So anyways, you know, I'm kind of thinking about this and I kind of, you know, debating this and I always go back to this Bible verse and I want to share that with you because you know what? I hope that somebody is blessed. If you are blessed, just put it in the comments and let me know. But this video is going to be for someone out there. First Peter 5.10 says, and the God of all grace... Let's stop right there. And the God of all grace. That's a revelation right there. That Just that part right there. Who called you to his eternal glory. You understand that God called you to his eternal glory? Who cares what people call you for? Who cares, you know, your friends being mean to you, this and that, and all this, other issues. Who cares? The God of all grace called you, sir, ma'am to his eternal glory is it's insane in christ after you have suffered i love this part it says after you have suffered mm. so the god of the universe the creator of everything is going to tell you that you're going to suffer he understands that you're going to suffer but here is the promise here is the promise wait for it i'm going to tell you the promise is crazy because it says after you have suffered a little while god understand that you're going to suffer for a period in your life your suffering is not going to be eternal your suffering is not going to be forever your suffering is going to be for a little while sink on that right and here we go will himself now this is god will himself this is god god is saying you know what i'm the god of all grace you are going to suffer for a little while but me god himself it says it right here will restore you will himself restore you what does that mean he's going to restore you it doesn't matter what issues you have it doesn't matter what issues you have it doesn't matter who di disappointed it doesn't matter who's mad at you god will restore you mm. Let's go. We're going to continue on this one and make you strong. You hear that? The Lord of the universe is going to make you strong. I don't know who else can make you stronger than the Lord. Really not. Nah, I, I just don't know. Really don't know. The last part right here, firm and steady fast. Hmm. Let's read it again. First Peter 5.10 says, First Peter 5.10 says, And the God of all grace who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, remember this, people, we have to be in Christ. After you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steady fast. What a freaking promise. Wow. What a promise. I'm, I'm just telling you, every single time that I have issues, every single time that I got to tribulations, every single time that my life is upside down, every single time that I suffer, every single time that I go through issues, I said to myself, you know what, devil, you can continue to attack me, but God says that I'm going to suffer for a little while. And that's okay because when it's done, because when it's done, I'll be stronger. Because I am a child of God, God promised me that, and because I believe it, I'm entitled to that, and it's just going to happen. It is what it is. I hope that blessed somebody. Let me know what you think. Put comments down below. And as always, God is in control.